sense of how much of a need there is for machinists in today's world? Uh, we did a, an online search with my ninth graders a couple of weeks ago, and we did it on Indeed.com, and we put in machinist, and it came up with 610 job opportunities for machinists right now in, in Buffalo, within 25 miles from here. If you go into a machine shop, you'll see machinists that are 20 years old, recent graduates, and then you'll see machinists that are 50, 60, and 70 years old. It's very unusual to see a 30 or a 40 year old because they stopped teaching that for a bunch of years, uh, and now they've started again. How about earning potential? Like, what could these guys start off at? Depends on, uh, education's gonna make a big difference. So you come out of high school, you're gonna end up in a shop, depending on how well you did in a high school trade program, you could probably start out $12, $15 an hour. Okay, and it can do nothing but increase as your training increases, you're more, rely, you know, you're more useful to an employer for a higher level skills, and then the pay goes up from there. Uh, technicians, probably you can start easily, 22, 23 an hour. Our byways and our highways, our railroads, our runways, our bridges, our subways, all of our infrastructure has to get rebuilt. And who's going to do that? What kind of skills are needed to do that? Our young people are developing the skills right here at Burgard to be able to help rebuild America.